What up, YouTube? Alright, we're doing a JVC aftermarket radio installation. This is a 98 Mitsubishi Mirage DE. See the mess? The unit. Well, I got the old one out. Actually, I didn't take it out. The previous owner got a little impatient and tried to do it on her own. And, uh, well, this is what happens. As you can see, these wires come with a harness all together, plugged into the market um, factory radio. What they did, instead of plugging it out to make it easier to adapt a, an adapter, they cut it. So it makes it just a little bit harder because now I have to go through all these wires to figure out which one is a speaker wire, which one is power, what is a uh, remote, all kinds of shit. As you can see, I got the, my little butt connectors and I was able to figure it out. Um, the way to figure it out, I guess, is once you get your ground and your constant in, so you can, so your radio is on, because the only way you're going to check is if you put a CD or you play some music. So I went to the back trunk. This is a small car, so the speakers are right there. Just opened the trunk, looked at the uh, the wires leading into the speaker, matched it up what we got in front here. I was able to do it for the back. For the front, they have a different color than the ones corresponding up here in the head unit. So, you know, once again, once I had everything plugged, I just had to kind of like play with the wires and figure it out once I heard sound. Okay, there you go. Butt connectors, and uh, there you go. I would have soldered it if I would have had, uh, I guess, more time. I got to go to work in a little bit. And um, and if I would have had the, uh, the, the, the harness. This is the one that comes with your radio but then there's an adapter harness that you could solder your wires kind of like this but not with like that you know solder it and then it has another harness at the end that connects to your factory harness but since we don't have that option here and then uh, this is what you would do in older cars you know you would find the wires and cut them up match them together find out what's what now on this uh, on most of the harnesses it's all about the same you got a black ground a yellow constant red power this orange and white stripe here is like the dimmer so when you turn your headlights on the, the head unit dims and you got about eight other wires two purple two green two white two gray one of each is a solid and then one has a stripe that's how you know which one is your um, your speakers left and right uh, if you get it wrong putting which speaker goes to which but you make it work it'll work but then when you go to EQ it or balance it or fade it you're, you're gonna be a little messed up but you know it's all, it'll work but uh... you want to do it right you want to be able to EQ your shit nice and good you know balance it all the levels out so you, you want the right stuff so I got it done right there we don't need this remote because we're not running an amp so once all this wiring is done you can push all this back in there so all we need is the all we need is the harness out and your antenna out. So push this back in. And here's your head unit. Uh, it comes with a little diagram sometimes so you can kind of read and see what it is. It was actually very helpful. So um, you know, two outputs, regular stuff. Luckily I didn't need an installation kit. I was able to take off these brackets from the old radio and uh, correspond it to the, new, to the new head unit on the side and it'll fit nice and snug inside. So, uh, remember, if you're going to do your own radio, these butt connectors, let me, let me explain this first. Let me show you, show you one, just to see what I did. I would have soldered them, like I said, if I would have the harness because it's just a more solid connection. But these little butt connectors, you can see inside, you put the wire inside and crimp it on one end the other wire on the other side crimp it at the other makes a nice solid signal connection right so basically you just gotta play with it find your ground find your power and your constant once you get that running connect the harness in and then play looking if you have to look for which wire is the, the, the speakers just play around a little bit until you find it once you find it you'll get it going all right. Um, after that, once you get all your harnesses done, you can kind of clean it up, push it back. You know, this radio is going to go right in here, held on by the brackets. 
throw this little thing over and then it should be good. Um, sorry I'm not giving full detail or showing full detail, full detail, but you know I don't edit shit and this is about like the fifth time I make a video so I'm done after this. Um, so yeah, anybody has any questions uh, how I did it, what I'm doing, you know, take a look. Anybody want to comment, critic, whatever, I'm open to it all. Alright guys, uh, probably the next video is just going to be a, just show finished, all finished. Alright guys, check it later. Peace.